What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com In the last Dynasty video we played our first game of our second season with Duke and we took on Stanford and we ended up winning by nine points. We were pretty consistent offensively. We just got about a touchdown a quarter and our defense played well enough especially in the second half to finish things off. We had a bunch of freshmen start for us. That'll be like that for the rest of the season. But our quarterback played well, our freshman halfback played well. A lot of guys got to step up, which is good to see. And we're going to need them to step up even more as we're going to take on Kansas. And they destroyed us last season, so I scheduled them just so I could take a little revenge out on them today. Hopefully that'll happen. But we got similar talent. They are spread offense. They run like a 4-3 defense. They're 0-1 on the season. I can't really tell if they're good at anything at the moment. Again, they've only played one game. It's like they run the ball okay, and their turnover differential is pretty good. But again, it's just one game. Same with our stats. It doesn't say a whole lot when you've only got one game under your belt. Before we play them, we got to look at some things. Let's go to end season recruiting. And we are going after five guys. First off is outside linebacker Hayden McKinney. Looks like we're going up his list. We just don't know what he likes or doesn't like yet. Next up, we got a corner, uh, Chauncey Manning out of Corbett, Kentucky. That's right up the road for me. Would love to have him. He's exactly what I want out of a corner. And I think we are in good shape with him. We just need to find out what he really likes. Center, Gavin Simpson. We need all the help we can get on the offensive line. We just don't know anything about what he likes in terms of pitches. Then we got two more guys. We got a tight end, Daryl Evans. We need bodies here, as we all know. We always put like two tight ends on the field a lot of the time. And Daryl Evans, we are in great shape for him. We're at the top of the list. Looks like 20 points is more than enough to give him more attention than anybody else that's doing so at the moment. And last but not least, right guard, Michael Jackson. We need help again. Offensive line, we're going up on his list, which is good. We just need some time to figure out what he likes. So we're in good shape for all five of these guys. We're moved up on all five of the list. Let's go to Sports Illustrated. Let's check out some things. Top 25 polls. I have, I can tell you, the only time we ever get to see our ranking, if we're not in the top 25, is the, the screen where it loads up the game. And you don't never get to see that because I always cut that out. I'll try not to forget to mention what our rank is once we get there uh, into the game. But I don't think we're anywhere close to that. We're going to have to win some games first in order to have a chance. So, in terms of the top 25, the Heisman watch, none of this is really going to affect us much unless we really get somebody going offensively or whoever. Players of the week, I don't mind looking at this. Looks like Navy quarterback had a pretty good game. 62, well, oh my gosh, is that correct? Look at that. He had 62 carries for 423 yards of four touchdowns. The quarterback. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. That's pretty cool. Either way, Looks like a middle linebacker out of UConn had a pretty good game. We can check out our conference. Ben Mock, the quarterback of Wake Forest, played well. And it looks like we got a linebacker out of Maryland who had a pretty good game. Let's go to conference standings. Now, the conference standings themselves don't mean anything at the moment. The season's barely started, but we can check out our team info screen. We are healthy. Gates, our true freshman quarterback, had two touchdowns, no picks. That's a good ratio to have. Then rushing, our true freshman halfback in a Horton had 119 yards in the last game. Drummer is our leading receiver. That's just kind of the way it worked out. I'm sure that'll change over time. Then you got our defensive leaders. Not a whole lot to see there, but a true freshman, Jimmy McCoy, outside linebacker, led in tackles. We can check out Kansas. Let's go over to the Big 12. And here they are. They're healthy as well. Looks like their quarterback is putting up okay numbers. But again, not a whole lot of this says anything to me. I have a feeling that running back is going to be an impact guy. Thank the Lord that other running back who really gave us a lot of trouble last season is gone. He was a senior, but his backup is halfway decent. And that's him right there. He very well could be an impact guy. We'll see here in a little bit. You go over to the defensive side of things. It doesn't say a whole lot to me, but they did get beat by Northern Illinois by 16. All right, I have seen everything that I wanted to see. Let's go ahead and we'll, we will see them the week and up until the game, and we'll see if we have anybody in trouble. Because after that game, we got number 11, Texas A&M, number 23, Virginia. Okay, nobody is in trouble. We have a home game, so I want to make sure we are wearing our new default home uniforms, which are these right here. So let's get into the game. 
looks like we have a night game at least in Durham, North Carolina. Yes, we do. At least it's not raining. Man, how many rain games do we have in last season? So, like I said before, we're number 52 in the country at the moment. So we are pretty ways off from ever thinking about top 25 stuff. We're going to have to win some big games in order to get there. We're getting close to filling up the stadium. Now, this stadium is a hold a lot, as you can tell. Hopefully, we can take care of business today. I want to beat these guys badly if I can. True freshman Justin Gaines being highlighted. I can see him have another solid game today. And they're picking us to win. Let's go to the coin toss. We won it, and I want the ball to start a second half. Let's check out their roster. See what we are dealing with. Impact quarterback. Now, he's a balanced quarterback, but he's got 68 speed. So, my guess is they're going to throw it quite a bit today with him. Thank the Lord their starting halfback isn't an impact guy. That would have gave us some fits. But he's going to touch the ball some today. I'm quite sure of it. I would love to have him. 91 speed. And he's just a sophomore. They got a true freshman at fullback. Again, they run spread, so you're not going to see that fullback a ton. You look at the wide receivers, 80, 76, 76, 74. And tight end-wise, they are okay. 82 overall with just 70 speed. But that guy, eh, he can't catch all that well. But look at this kid right here, Josh Bell, true sophomore. They need to find a way to give him the ball. 80 speed, and they got 74 catch. And look how big he is, 6'7", 253. That's just an anomaly right there. You look at their offensive line, 80, 88, 78, 80, and 82. Looks like their guards are their strength. Like I said, they run a 4'3", 78, and 70 on the ends. Then 78, 70, 65. So their front four is not the greatest in the world. Look at their line, uh, their linebackers, 74, 74, and 74. So their front seven in general is not the best. Maybe we could take advantage of that today. You look at corner, arguably the best corner in the country. So we're going to try our best not to throw in him much today. I'm sure he can make a play or two. And we'll probably try to run away from him as well. But it's a big drop-off after him. Once he's going, man, they're going to be in real hurt at corner. Free safety, just okay at 76. 80 is strong safety. So it looks like they have one really good defensive player, and that's kind of it. 76 at kicker, 82 at punter, just okay. All right, let's get this show on the road. Looks like they got an impact guy on the right, so we're going to kick it on the other side. Nice, pretty evening for some football, and that's going out of bounds. I didn't even look at the wind. There may be some decent wind today. So they're going to get on the 35. Let's go quarters. I'm going to play some zone today. I think it's a good idea. I think they're going to throw it quite a bit. Yep, go and play action. As a block in the back. They're going to pick up a first down. Let's stay in quarters from here. Our best unit is our nickel package. We'll do something like this, perhaps. Oh, terrible. That was my fault. Oh, great play by Tally. I was way out of position. I should have took over the AI on that one. Great play by our best player on the team. It's not even close. This guy's always doing something. Just a great... He overthrew it, thankfully. So, the problem is our location. Where are we? We're on the two-yard line. We're going to do that. I'm just making sure we get a couple of these set up. What we'll probably do... We're going to go ace normal. That, dang it, I'm not going to be able to get there. I'm not going to have enough time. I accidentally went over it twice. Let's just see if we can just get out of our end zone. That's a face mask. Oh, they didn't call it. So we got the first down. So we got out of that situation. Let's go. I have an idea. Let's do something like this. Halfback slam. For going man. One thing I want to try. I have a new audible. I completely forgot about this. This is a pretty decent man beating play. Let's go to set audibles. And you go to PA clear or PA rollout at a weak tight. 
The fullback on the wheel route against cover zero is just completely nasty. And we got a fullback that's got enough athleticism to do some things. So I'm going to take advantage of that if I can. We're going to try that right now. We're going to do something like this. I should move him over a little bit, which is fine. Feeling a little heat. We're going to go over to our tight end. Not much out of that play. Let's go. Uh, let's do something. We can go back to a toss. We're going man dime. We can move this guy over. Get an easy first down here with Drummer. Now we can go to our true freshman. Halfback. We'll go slam. Get him going. Then we'll pick a pass play here in a little bit. We're going zone nickel. We'll go to the right. Uh-oh. 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 He gone. He gone. He gone. The true freshman take it to the house for six points. You got to be very patient on that play. We can go back and look at it. The blocking, it just it required patience to get through that stuff. We may get a decent look here. I didn't use the speed button until right there. We can go. I want to check. There was one. We can go right here. Good blocking by our wide receivers. Just enough for me to go right through there. And at this point, the only time I do the speed button is right here. Anytime there's nobody in front of me, that's when I'll use the speed button. Other than that, don't bother. Well, that's a good start. We will kick an extra point. And there we go, right through the uprights. Thankfully, we got out of our end zone in like three plays. We scored. Let's get back on defense. Perfect kick. This may be a touchback if it's ah oh, still not strong enough. He's going to return that. That's a good stop. I am going to do a zone blitz. See if we can get our little speedy cornerback. Get some pressure on that guy. Do something like this. Make sure that right tackle is occupied. Play action. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Oh, no. Good. Thank the Lord he overthrew it just enough. Good defense, Al. Second and ten. They got one hanging tight end. Uh, let's do quarters out of four three. So it's second and ten. Ball on the thirteen yard line. We have freshmen everywhere. I think I'll leave it as is. Going with a toss. That's good blocking. But we good stop though. So it is third. <laughs> he threw him right into the player. Dubbed him into him. So it is. Third and long, that's what we want. We'll try Cloud. We had a lot of hard times running Cloud in the last game. Stanford done a really good job of attacking it. Oh, we had a sack right there. Dang it. Man, he completely whiffed on You look at this right here. Somebody almost got to him. He just broke the tackle. That's what impact players can do. We'll go back to nickel. Do something like this, perhaps. P.E. Reed, somebody. Oh, great stop. Surprised they ran with their fullback, but that's neither here nor there. I'm going to try. We'll do another zone blitz before we go to third down. As long as they don't run like right up the gut, I think we'll be okay. Good open field tackle. So it's third and eight again. Third and nine. Nope. Third and seven. So the last time we called Cloud, it almost worked, but the quarterback made a really good play. Go and play action. Oh, we're, we are outnumbered right there. Great defense by McCoy. Jeez, man, look at this play right here. He saved. 
I mean, we were outnumbered. This is a great little NFL teams run this all the time. You got like a three levels situation. One down here, going to be one coming over here on that cross ramp by that tight end. They're going to have a high. So they got like a triple high low read look. But this true freshman right here is just making plays for us right now. I can't even get my cursor on him. Look at that. Oh, just enough. Okay. That's a good stop. Let's get the ball back. See if we can do something. Let's add up to our lead. I think we found a really good one, that McCoy kid. Just like everywhere you see, he's doing something. And we're going to let that one go, I guess. Yeah, it looks like we got a bit of a win situation. So we're on the left hash. Let's go P. Reed. We should do something simple. Unfortunately, we're going to be probably handing this or throwing it in that corner's direction. Just don't fumble it. Ooh. We got some good yards there. Let's go. Uh, let's do Honey and Post. Let's do Curl Flants. I think they're going man. Since they're going man, I want to try something here. Do something like this. No, that's ain't good. That's great defense, yeah. Good defense all around. Second and 11. I want to try. We're going to do our wide receiver reverse play. They're going zone 4-3, so this may not work very well. <laughs> Every bit of that made no sense whatsoever. Okay, so they're going zone. I'm thinking vertical. Trying to get up the field. And at this point, I think, okay, I just better go ahead and pitch it. Then I'm going up against the best corner of the country here. I've made a spin. Thankfully, that worked out. And our true freshman halfback is just making good plays out there. So he bailed us out of a bad situation. So it's third and one. Let's keep this simple. Let's go tight end delay. I would prefer to run it, but I think we can have a decent chance of just getting something simple here. And I, again, thank the Lord that corner didn't force a drop. So it is first and ten. We have, we're going to try this play again. We've done it once. We're going to go with a speed option out of this formation. Last time they got blasted, I got away from it. Well, we got this other quarterback in Dukes who's really fast. And it just gets beat up badly. So I may go back to that eventually, but... Right now, we're having a hard time with that play. Second and 11. Uh, I don't mind running it again. We're going zone. This is probably going to be two or three down territory for us anyways. Good blocking right there. So we are third and something. Third and four. We can try a deep cross up. We're going zone. They got a decent, strong safety, but maybe we can get a decent... Nope. Go over here. He's wide open. My right tackle got beat a little bit, so I didn't have a whole lot of time, and we know Gates is not the fastest guy. But we had a guy wide open over there for the first down. Good play. I'm going to do something like this. Uh, let's go full back over. They're going zone. I think I'm going to flip this just to get away from that corner. I was hoping they was going to go man. Ooh, they completely switched up their defense all together. Is this guy going? Yeah, they're going man, so I can move him over. Great defense. Just sit there and waited on it. Let's go right here. Let's put in our tight ends on this one. Ace normal. Let's go halfback angle. We're going man. Let's see what happens here. Under threw it a little bit. Thank the Lord it did not get picked off. So it is third and 12. We're on to 36. So I think what's a good idea is I am going to... We're going to run the ball and we'll figure out what to do on fourth down. I'm going to try to get my quarterback a better situation. 
Looks like we're going to get something out of this. We may get six points. They went zone, I think, or did they go man? We had, look at this blocking. It ha I mean, you can do anything in the world in football if you've got good blocking like that. Just our receivers are just doing a great job of that. And just like that, we're up two scores. And that's a good way to end the quarter. Looks like it's stuck on this formation, or on this uh, animation. We will kick an extra point before the quarter ends. That's the first time I've called that halfback direct in a long time. I normally don't like it because you don't have a whole lot of blocking on one side. Normally where the halfback is at. But we had more blocking on the other side. Thankfully, we had enough patience to get around and good blocking to go with it. I still want to try to keep things simple for my quarterback, not put a whole lot on this plate just yet. We don't have to if our running game keeps doing what it's doing. I don't need him to be a hero or anything. Oh, that's going out of bounds again, I swear. Al. Let's get the call. I probably just need to leave it as is until I get a better kicker. Let's go back to quarters. Do something like this. Oops, I'm controlling the wrong guy. There we go. Habit. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, looking, rolling out to the right side. Throws. Intercept that. Wow, what a catch. He just had too much time to throw. Nothing you can do about that. Somebody's got to make a play. We can do a zone blitz. We're going to do something like this. Let's see if that'll help a little bit. Halfback draw. A little gang tackle. I'm going to call the exact same play. I'm hoping they go play action or they'll just pass it. But that was a good call against my blitz. But they may go right up the gut again. Nope, they're going to pass it. He's going to... That quarterback's taking chances out there. So it is on the one. It doesn't matter at this point. They're probably going to get in, so we'll just go with like a goal line. I know exactly what they're doing. Everybody get over here. And they still got in. I told you they was going to go off tackle. We still couldn't get to him. Well... Let's see if we can get that touchdown back. All it took was one big play, and they got him down the field. Things will get better once we can get... Like, our edge rushers aren't the best in the world. We need some better guys there. I think our defensive tackles are okay. But when he, it would help if you can get some pressure from your defensive line without having to blitz so much. All right, let's see if Buttles can do something here. Oh, good block right there. Good little run. That gets us on the right hash. I don't think. What can we call? We can go back to a toss with Drummer. We're going man 4-3, but... I'm going to go with a pass play. I can't tell what they're calling. I think they're going... Man, cover one. I just overthrew it. Let's make that up. Let's do another direct. They're going nickel. What worries me is hopefully they don't go cover zero, and I think they are. Dang it! I'm gonna call the exact same thing. They're going. They're bringing those linebackers. Let's see if he can make this throw to right. Ah, oh, overthrew it. So it's third and long. Third and ten to be exact. We'll go tight end cross. They're going man. They're bringing everybody. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Just not enough room. Got too close to the outside. So we got to punt it. It is what it is. Just not good at all. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. 
I'm going to kick this as hard as I can. And that's not hard enough. So it looks like we got some wind. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think the wind's just messing both teams up a little today. Well, here's Kansas' chance to tie this thing. We need to get a stop. Good, good catch. Again, he just has too much time to throw. I'm going to throw five at him now. See if that helps. We haven't got a sack on him yet. They may run the ball. Nope, they're going to throw it. That's a good stop. I think somebody got a hand on it. So it's, what, third and three? We're going to go with man. Looks like they're going goal line. They'll probably just run it or do a play action. I'm not going to do goal line myself. The goal line isn't the best in the world in this game. Play action. And a first down. Let's give our nickel a bit of a break. We'll go quarters out of 4-3. Back to that P. Reed again. Just nowhere to go with that one. We'll go blitz. Our corner, our nickel is going to get a, a sack eventually. And this ain't good. Make a play. Just. Unfortunately, their deep ball's working and ours isn't. Too much time to throw. I threw five at him. It didn't make a difference. But just like that, there goes our lead. So we're going to have to figure something out. I mean, I'm not going to send six. I mean, if he can, he'll destroy us if we throw six at him. He'll find him too many guys wide open. I was not about to control that safety either. I probably would have messed it up. So that first quarter was about worthless other than we're tied and not just now by two scores. We're going to let that one go. Our passing game is not going well at the moment. Running game is going great. We need to keep doing it, but we're in the middle of the field. We need to see if we can do something on this play right here. Terrible throw. Oh, we got lucky. <laughs> I threw it way too hard. That was on me. Good play there. We'll <laughs> However you want to take it, you know. Let's go to slam. They're going zone 4-3. Oh, that kid's tough. Man, he's tough. Just stiff arming his way through all that. Let's go full back over. We're going zone. I'm going to hurry up and flip this. I'm not going to go against that corner. I was hoping they'd go man so I can have that grass to work with. Ah, I didn't get the first. So it's third and one. We can try to tie it into lay again to see if we can pick up the easy first down. They're going man 4-3. They're at least going cover one. I'm going to go to Drummer anyways. I think that's our safest option. Just They went cover zero. I could have went over the top, but our deep ball is not working at the moment. So we can just back off of that for now. Let's try... If I can find it, let's do a toss with Horton for going man. Just no blocking. Drummer, that's not his strong suit, so kind of makes sense. So it's second and six. We can go back to direct. Zone dime. The clock is going, so we kind of need to get with it. Good blocking here. Let's get out of bounds. Minute 32. 
What would be a good idea here? Let me think. Uh, we got corner combo. Zone dime. I'm gonna keep this simple. I'll probably just go to tally. Just get out of bounds. Second and four. Uh, let's go back here instead. Let's do something like this. Let's get our tight ends in here. Let's go ace normal. We can go... We can go back to wide receiver clear outs. That's okay. They're going man. They're blitzing that one nickel. I don't have a whole lot of room to work with, so I'm going to just go to Wade. Yeah, they're going cover zero. Good play. Good catch. Good throw. Every bit of that was good. So we're on the three-yard line. We got plenty of time to kill. Let's run a basic slam. I'm going to try to run as much clock as possible. I'm going to go to the right. They got an extra man on the right, but we kind of do as well. Man, I just don't want that impact corner to make a play on us. So we'll take a chance on the right side and see if this will work. Good blocking all around. Was able to find a little crease. That's always pretty cool to see something like that. Coming right on through for six points. So we get our lead back. Now what we got to do is figure out how to stop the other team. <laughs> I may not blitz as much because right now the blitz isn't working from what I can tell. We haven't got one sack on. We've gotten close a couple times, but he keeps breaking the tackles. So maybe throwing an extra guy on zone may help. And this is going out of bounds. I just I just butchered it again. I'm sorry. I've heard of, I've had a couple people complain that I don't do this well enough. Well, you'll just have to get over it. I'm sorry. It's kicking's not the easiest in 06. Especially if you've got an average kicker to go with it. I need help. I need a better kicker to make it a little bit easier. Let's go quarters. We'll do something like this. Somebody get some pressure on him, anything. Just another great catch. Nothing you can do about it. I'll stay in quarters. I trust my quarters, but it just it helps if you can get something going up front a little. People who've been watching me play for years know my quarters works fairly well against the pass, but you give any quarterback enough time to throw, he can do some damage to you. Good open field tackle. So it's third and four. And they're gonna I'm gonna leave it as is. I know I got a an audible to work with, but Okay, that's fine. Bad throw. So we got 36 seconds. I'm gonna do an all-out block. They'll probably come in to protect, but they may not either. Let's see what they do. Yeah, they're coming in to protect. That's just fine. That should give Drummer some room to work with. Oh, man. It's, oh, come on. 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 There we go. There we go. Oh, great run by Drummer. Whew. 26 yard line. We need to get down the field a little bit. What's the best thing we can do for that? Let's go. We'll go tight end cross. We're going man. They're going cover one. Ah, just bad play in general, I guess. Just not much of a chance to do something with it. Let's let's go tight end delay. They're going man 4-3, which is good. No, go back, not you. We're going to do this. Good defense. I was not expecting him to just be sitting there waiting on it. So it's third and ten. I think I'm going to let that play go. And we're going to head to the half. I think I'm fine with that. All right. Well, at least we have the lead. Second, or, yeah, the second quarter did not go well at all. They got an extra touchdown than we did, but we, again, we're up. So that's a positive. So let's check out some stats. We got more yards than they do. We're running the ball really well. 
passing just not where it needs to be at the moment. But it'll get better in time. Both teams are doing a pretty good job on third down. They got the one turnover. Penalties, we have three of them. They just hasn't worked out for us today. I don't remember the... Th oh, yeah, those were the kickoffs out of bounds. That's, which again, just on me. Gates, 9 of 15, 76 yards, but just, he's just not really doing a whole lot, especially the deep ball. It's just not clicking at the moment. Running, Horton and Drummer. I'm trying to split the carries as best I can with them, but as you can tell, it's been all Horton at the moment. Receiving, Drummer's our leading receiver, and then you got Wright and Horton, so it's our halfbacks. Just our receivers haven't been able to get the ball a whole lot today. Our tight ends haven't gotten to either. You look at our defense. Look who's leading in tackles again. Jimmy McCoy, just killing it right now. Tackles for loss, one no sacks, and the one interception. So let's get back at it. We do get the ball. We need to take advantage of this. Score touchdown and get our two-score lead back from before. Let's see if Drummer can do something here. Oh, just don't fumble it. Ooh. Not a bad little return. I am... Looks like we're going to need Horton to do some things for now. Looks like Drummer's a little bit gas, so we're going to go with a basic slam for him. Good little run. Not bad. Let's do... Uh, let's go full back over. Drummer should be rested now. They're going man-dime. This play hasn't worked well for us today. I could go, they're going cover zero, but we're going to go ahead and snap the ball. Get some yards, pick up a first. Good little play there. I'm going to go back here, and we're going to do tight end corners. They're going man. This is either going to go to Patrick, or they're going to go cover one. Yeah. Oh, that's just a weird play right there. That got a little bungled. Normally what I like to do, since that pivot route is so close to the sideline, I like to bring him over a little bit. But he got stuck right here on a defender, which kind of messed up my whole rhythm of the whole thing. But thankfully, we was able to get something out of it. And Wright was able to make a lot more yards out of it than I was expecting. It's a good play by him. I'm going to go... Right here, we're going to do an off-tackle play. We're going to do a QB choice. They're going zone 4-3. They're crunching up. Good blocking. Good blocking. Man, just blocking's been great on that side of the field. Look at this, our entire right side right here. Right tackle done a good job. Good job by Tally and Wright. Just all around, just solid. On the 24, let's go. He's a little gassed. Uh, I'm going to go here. We're going zone. If they was going to go man, I was going to go to my fullback play, but we can do that later. All right, they're going zone. Looks like we're going to go to our left. Just don't fumble it. We're in the middle of the field. Let's give Horton a bit of a break. Let's do a toss with Drummer. Zone dime. We may have to be cutting this up field quick. Good defense. Just couldn't get around him. Third and three. And he is gassed. So our halfbacks are really feeling it at the moment. But we're going to go to Drummer. They're going 4-3 man. Do something like this. <laughs> That's so close. You can tell he's not as fast as he was. He's just really feeling it at the moment. We're going to let our Timmy Riggins run the ball on this one. We're going to go full back over with him. Old Tim Ball. See if we can get... And we got our... Both of our halfbacks are out at the moment. And good for him. He gets his second touchdown of the year. I'm going to try to get him in the passing game a little bit. Just when the occasion arises. Most of it's all play action, but our offensive line is just not the best for that for at the moment. I'm going to sprinkle it in again when I can. So let's kick an extra point. 
So we got our lead back from before. Now we're up two scores. Good kick right down the middle. Just our run game is doing really well. I'd love to be able to complement it some with the passing game. Just been a bit of a struggle so far today. So the wind is doing that. And dang it, Al, I hit the button too late. But I think that's going to stay in bounds. Ooh, going to be a touchback. Good deal. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game... Let's go quarters out of nickel. The defensive back moving in closer. All right, it's time for our defense to make a play. Intercept that. <laughs> so close. I'm still going to stay in quarters. I'm, I'm going to back off the blitzing a little bit. Although I'd love to implement it right now. It just doesn't seem to be clicking. Intercept that. Good defense. So it's third and ten. We'll try Cloud. I've got the middle of the field. Do something like this. The crowd ain't really hopping at the moment. Ah, oh, good tackle. They got a pretty decent quarterback. I'm not going to lie. He's played halfway decent. But we got to stop. Now, here's our chance to really blow the doors off of this thing. Let's see if Buttles can do something. Looks like Drummer is still gassed from the previous drive, I guess. <laughs> so we got our Juco transfer wide receiver. I was hoping to find a crease. Let's go slam again. So they're going man, but the, the fact that they're going nickel, ooh, they're doing that. What's my audible again? Is it? It's L1. Okay. I'd love to them for go cover zero. That would be amazing. But they're not going to. Ah, just a bad throw. It was a bad pass. Let's go off tackle with Horton. Man nickel. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do here. Let's do something like that. Get everybody out of the way at least. That helped. Okay. That was not too bad. Good blocking. Good blocking. Man. He's got 190 yards. <laughs> I want to go. He's still kind of feeling it. We can go with Drummer somewhere at some point. Let's do off tackle with Drummer. Zone nickel. Just something up the field a little bit, not a whole lot. We're in the middle of the field, so we can try a deep cross up again. They're going man. I have an audible for that. At least I did. Ooh, I don't have that anymore. Ooh, I kind of do. Let me try something here. We're going... We can try it. We got it is X. But they're going dimes. I don't know how helpful this will be, but we're going to go to tally. Nope, that's intercepted. <laughs> no, that was just a bad play in general. <laughs> they had good coverage on it. So let's go back to deep cross up, I guess. Let's see if we can pull this one off. I'm not feeling a whole lot of heat. Good throw. Good throw. Six points. By far his best throw of the day. That was perfect. Right in stride. Just a great run all or great play all around. This ain't gonna be the best angle, but it's just right where it needed to be. So we finally got that play to work. And now we're up three scores. So let's keep putting on more steam. Good to see Gates get a touchdown for the day. And he on 
the extra point. That's going to lead us to our Pontiac. We've had a few different players get touchdowns so far. Three that I know of. Horton, Ball, and then Tally. This should be drifting slightly to that guy. Good. Henry fields it in the end zone. So our defense is playing really well at the moment. Let's keep it up. I'll go back to quarters. I'll do something like this. Good. Oh, fumble, fumble. Somebody get it. Somebody get it. Except him. So they get a yard out of that, maybe. Yep, second and nine. Have you noticed I've been backing off the blitzing and it seems to have helped a little bit. Hopefully I don't eat my words on this next play. Going back to their halfback, so it's third and three-ish. Yep, third and three. They're going with the big set. So we'll go cover two, man. It wouldn't shock me if they threw it. Do something like this, perhaps. I ran right over me. Going to pick up an easy first down. I would love to blitz, but again, it's just not working all that great, so we'll go back to quarters. Do something like this. I got the hash mark. Going play action. And we finally got to him. Good deal. Our defensive end. I'll call the same thing. It'd be great if we can get him in a third and long situation. Good throw. Almost got the first. So they'll probably go back to goal line. Yep. Most CPU teams do this. In this game, at least. Unfortunately, we just don't have a big enough crowd to go and play action. Good defense. Somebody got to him just in time. Now, where are they? They're going to punt it. We're going to go with an all-out block. Now, it wouldn't shock me if they faked it here. But I got to take a chance of a possible block. Somebody get through. Oh, I blocked it! Huge! <laughs> it worked! It finally worked! It worked! Oh, my gosh. Yes! That was great. And it wasn't on the side that I was at either. Huge play. Play of the game, right? Play of the season so far for a game and a half in. Awesome little play. I hope you enjoy that. That doesn't happen too often in this game. So we will kick an extra point. Look at that. We're blowing out Kansas. It's about time after what they've done to us last season. This is the precise reason why I scheduled them. Now, I had a good suggestion from somebody. I'll try not to forget it. But next season, we're going to schedule some modern ACC teams. This is going out of bounds again, isn't it? It's, uh, I'll, I'll probably try to schedule Pitt and Syracuse. I think that's a pretty cool idea. I just don't need to forget it. We'll go quarters. And I should have went nickel. That was my fault. So how about our defense really stepped it up lately? Oh, that was a sweet play on that block punt. Fullback dive. Somebody get him. Thankfully, their fullback is a very good. I don't know why. That's like his fourth carry of the day. He should never be touching the ball in that offense compared to what else they have. But that's something you can't really train the AI to do, at least not technically. I'm sure you could do some hacking of some, some modding to maybe fix that, but... Neither it's it's on them. They just gotta make better decisions. Uh oh, make a play, somebody. Gee whiz, our entire right side of the secondary is just getting blitz creek. Look at this. Just not doing well on that side. We're doing fine on the other. That's been their entire offense today. Just throw it deep to the right side of the field and see if somebody make a play. 
run up the gut up the gut somebody stop it looks like that's going to be me to do that so they're getting close to scoring a touchdown so i don't mind blitzing at this point maybe it will help when performance matters the most and the leader of the defense get him get him get him get him get him, get him. Right With the throw, and it's caught. did he get the first don't know if he did third and one but they're going with the big set right. third one coming up on this play. we'll just bring everybody up they line up in the jumbo set the full back dive and i think he may have just got it yeah, barely. Now from here, I'm going to do a zone blitz from 4-3. A linebacker will maybe be a little bit closer. Something like this, perhaps. Halfback off tackle. Good blitz. Went right towards the guy. And who is it? Jimmy McCoy. Second and 13. It'd be great if we can keep him out of the end zone. 4-3 defense. <laughs> Back to pass. Looking. He steps up with the throw. Don't know who that was. Just a lofty prayer. It's third and 13. We can go back to Cloud. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Kansas. Do something like this. I've got the middle of the field. Got people open. People was open, but we was able to get to him. So it is fourth and fifteen. Of course, they're going to go for it. I'm going to go. It's just on my mind. We're going to go crash three. This could be a big mistake. The game is over with, so it's not really going to matter. We're going to do something like this. Ooh, man, I was right there. Oh, that was close. Good stop, though. We sent six guys, and he still was able to get the playoff. So let's ease up on this going forward. I can actually put in second string in. I never thought I would do that. Oh, just couldn't get through that crease. I'm going to run some clock. I don't mind doing that. We can hand the ball off again with Horton. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the Going zone nickel. I'll probably go to the right. We got that extra blocker. With three and I, if we could just get a couple first stance, that'd be great. Chew up the rest of this clock and end this thing. And go into the season 2-0. and oh. We got some big games coming up, though. Texas A&M. The ACC gauntlet. Whatever reason, my right guard decided not to block the guy. He just, nope. He's like, he's like I'm not going to. Third and eight. Let's go flanker special. Third and eight. Ball on the We're going to see if Tally can make this play. It's going to be tough. Or not Tally, but Gates. I have all the faith in Tally to do something, but we'll see if Gates can make this throw. It's going to be a basic slot post. They're going zone, which helps. They're going cover two. Nope, we're going to get... Oh, that was actually a decent throw. I was fixing to get sacked. Somebody came on the right side. And it got spooked a little bit. Ended up being like a really good throw, though. But, again, that's just a lot of a lot of congestion over the middle. So we will punt it. I will probably keep this simple and kick this as high as I can. That way he will fair catch that. I have no need for him to take that off and run with it. They're going to get a decent field position, but this game's over with, so it doesn't really matter. Do something like this. I don't think they're going to run it, but they can definitely go off tackle if they feel like it. Pick up at eight yards. It'll be second and two. Second and one. So our defense really stepped up towards the end of the game. Only giving up 14 points. I'm more than happy with that. 
They can have all the yards they want. Ah, good blocking. Good blocking all around. Look, oh, what my gosh. And that's where their fullback, who can't really do much of anything. Wow, Kirk Herbstreit got excited there. Yeah, let's just do a zone blitz. They're fixing the score anyway, so I don't, don't think it'll matter too much. Somebody intercept that. That was right there. <laughs> Good to see somebody on that side of the field do some damage in the passing game. It's, they've really struggled on that side. Second and ten. I'm going to do another zone blitz. I call the wrong play. Let's do this instead. That's why we have audibles, at least on defense, to mitigate button presses that you don't mean to hit. Good defense to the best corner in the country. In my opinion, he's the best. Third and ten. Let's go cloud. Do something like this, perhaps. Good job, Al. Oh, man. That was a good play by the quarterback, but just not enough. So I'm going to just call the same thing. Horton is your player of the game, which makes sense. He had almost 200 yards on the day. Three touchdowns. Come on, tackle him. There we go. And that should be the game right there. Minute 17. I don't think they will... To be honest, I'm going to just go ahead and run the ball. They may call timeouts on us, which would be really dumb. So we'll go ahead and they're going cover zero. Yay. Dang it. Dang, dang it. Cover zero. Thankfully, he didn't get hurt. Oh, well, it's no big deal. That play does not work whatsoever. If it goes cover zero. Lines up in a shotgun set. Going off tackle. Nope, they're going to pass it. And somehow he still, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> they're going to score. They'll go with an onside kick, and we'll try to recover it. And I'm going to take a knee. Hopefully, they may go for And just ran right over me. It doesn't matter, though, thankfully. We got the win. We just need to be careful. I mean, they can... They're only down three scores, but I'm not too worried. And he tacks on the extra point. Kind of a stinky way to end the game by giving up a goofy touch, touchdown due to just a bad play. Good call on their part, though. Let that one go. There we go. And I will, let's go with a bigger set. Again, I think they're going to call timeouts. They still have all three. So let's run the ball. They're going, man, I'd love to go to that fullback play, but there's no point in that. Good blocking. Nope. It's tough. I'm going to see if I can get his. And they're not going to call the timeout. So that's going to be it. I'm going to take a knee the rest of the way. How many yards does he have? I don't knock the pad stats, but I think he has 198. So after this play, I think I may run it with Horton, see if we can pick up two more, just so he can get 200 yards. That'd be cool. Again, I normally don't like to do that, because it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but you don't get 200-yard games very often. Get it down to a couple seconds. We can do that. Third and six. What we can do is, and he's out altogether. So it looks like Horton, I'm going to call a timeout. So it looks like Horton was gassed. Can we get him back in there? There we go. He's back in. We can do direct. Let's see if he can pick up his two yards. They're going zone four to three. Shifting that way. Nope. Maybe. Nope. And that is it. Fourth and eight, and they call the timeout. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. No, we'll just punt it. Let's play it safe. 
That's, yeah, let's just play it smart. Don't want to get anybody important hurt. I'm going to kick this as hard as I can, but unfortunately it's going to the other side of the field, and this guy's got some room to work with. Thank the Lord I control that guy. The three seconds. They're going with a bigger set. They're not going from a Hail Mary set, that's for sure. And it's a good defense by you-know-who, and that is the game. 24, or we won by 21. That's the most points we put up in a game in all uh, this entire dynasty. Have we put up 42 at any point? Good win. Let's check out some stats. We'll go stats and scores. 385 yards of offense, 242 yards of running the ball. That'll get things done for you. I hope we can get our passing game going a little bit better. Gates did not have a very good game at all. He had a couple really good throws, but we had a couple overshots too that stalled some drives. Both teams done halfway decent on third down. Turnovers a little bit more in the second half than there were in the first. I want to check out the individual stuff. 12 of 21 for Gates, one touchdown. No picks. You know, we're always good about happy about that. It was Horton's day. He just had some really big gains for us. Drummer just didn't get to do a whole lot. Just didn't work out, unfortunately. But he did lead in receptions, <laughs> of all things, but it still wasn't much. It's just our passing game. We just don't have anybody we can really go to on the outside. Plus, our formation, our playbook in general, doesn't have a lot of great wide receiver busting plays. I'm sure I can find some and try to force it to some players, but I really don't want to do that. Blocking defensively, McCoy led in tackles again. Then you got a few guys with tackles for loss. You got a couple sacks by Bailey. Two defensive ends, and you got an interception by John Talley. All right, let's get out of here. Let's check out some top 25 scores for the week. Texas A&M over Mississippi State. That's who we're going to face in the next game. Auburn over Tulane. Michigan State over Eastern Michigan. Wisconsin over Western Illinois. Then you have Cincinnati uh, getting beat by Minnesota in overtime. LSU over Arizona. Toledo over Pitt. Penn State over Notre Dame. Then you have Florida over UCF. Nebraska over New Mexico State. Oregon State over Boise State. USC over Arkansas. UTEP over New Mexico. Tennessee gets upset. There are 0-2 so far this season. Whoa. Then you got Oklahoma over Washington. Iowa over Syracuse. NC State over Akron, Texas Tech over Northern Illinois, and a really big game, Texas over Ohio State, 30-28. So come on back in our next game. We are taking on the number 11 Texas A&M Aggies. This is going to be a tough one. I have no clue what they have. They usually got some running quarterbacks. I'm sure they're going to give us some fits. They are have won six in a row. They're playing well, and you can look at their stats. They're doing some good things. So it should be a lot of fun. All right, I'll talk to you later.